your town, your station, your voice. Afternoons on Calon FM. Listen online at calon.fm. It's the Andy Snowden Radio Show. Show. 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 with you. It's lovely. I love it. Uh, you're listening to the Station Screen Show, by the way, with me, Andy Snowden, here in the heart of Wrexham City, Saturday the 1st of October, and you're more than welcome to it. Right, where can you take your gal this week? What's the buzz? Tell me what's happening. 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 I'm going downtown tonight. What's going on? Now, many of us of a certain age will be well aware of the multi-million selling series of books and 70s TV series of The Famous Five. Well, now it's been adapted into a brand new musical by award-winning Ellen Cook and music and lyrics from Theo Jameson and directed up at Theatre Cluid by Theatre Cluid's artistic director, Tamara Harvey. It tells the story of George and her dog, of course, Timmy. And they have their cousins over, Julian, Anne and Dick, to stay for the summer. And as in all great Famous Five stories, mysteries and adventures lie ahead. I popped up on Thursday night for the press night and I caught a word with the siblings of the piece, Isabel Medvan, Dewey Wikes, and first let's hear from Louis Suck and Aunt Fanny herself, Laura Denny. Well, right at the end of that then, a guy turned around to me and said, if I had that energy, I'd be a very happy man. And I think that's what people are going to take away well, from Louis, this. The I mean, Louis, Louis, Louis gets points for 100% energy. Uh, I, I sleep for about 12 hours a day. <laughs> in order right. to do what you do. Yeah, so we come in at like 2. I, I get up at about 1. Go to bed maybe half 11. I'm, I'm sleeping all, all the time. We're always, asking, we're always saying to Louis, you know, you know, just, you know, we can mark this, Lou. And he's like full out right. every single yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it looks like the sort of thing where oh, you've yeah, got yeah. to... You got, you I can't feel like little sweets top. hidden side stage in a little stash. Just keep me going. We just, we just have so much fun on the show. Yeah. And I think you can see it. Yeah, I think, definitely, you know. definitely. And the, 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 the songs are just phenomenal. So, some of them are very wordy, wordy for you. Oh, wordy, 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 but beautiful. And Theo is just a, a genius. genius. An absolute genius. And he just, I think he just takes childhood and pops it into, on, yeah. onto the stage, really. Yeah. And the feelings of younger people, but without patronising. And I think that's really difficult to do. And once you get that that solid it's a beautiful thing yeah. and kids can resonate with it and not feel like they're being patronised into something they can actually go I've lived that yep. that's something that I did when I was a kid you know watching rehearsals and watching you guys I was like yeah I, I was absolutely like that with my brother or yeah. you know with my dog or so that, that's the loveliness of this show I think isn't he's it just so br- he's written some really catchy tunes oh, some yeah. absolutely tremendous numbers yeah. and e- even if they are quite wordy he has a magical the way. Words, he's, he's got a clever way with words, that man. He does, he does. Mm. I think it's going to be one of those shows, one of those musicals where you come away thinking, what was your favourite song? And you're not going to be able to no, have one because no. there are yeah. so many. And that's yeah. what makes a great musical, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. Mm. Yeah. And you mentioned the dog. Oh, and- <laughs> who's, who's basically... I'm a bit angry with Timmy because he's sort of stealing the show. Yeah. He's sort it's, of stealing it yeah. from all of us under our noses. Yeah. Um, he's gorgeous, isn't I know. he? I know you're joking, but... He, did. he does, he does, I know, yeah, 100% he does. But it's like when a, when a, do- a real dog is in the room, yes. all the focus is pulled, mm. but it's exactly like that, and Elsa's mm. so brilliant at bringing this, yeah. making him feel real. Oh my goodness, yeah. I, I brought my dog into rehearsals, I didn't have any doggy daycare, and I brought my dog into rehearsals, Tamara was so lovely and said, yeah, bring him in. And him and Timmy, the way they, they reacted to each other was incredible. Yeah. My dog was so confused about why this dog didn't smell probably like a dog because it's a puppet and he was I mean it was amazing wasn't it it was amazing how lifelike Ralph my dog even thought Timmy was yeah it's great but it is it's incredible the puppeteers are amazing oh they're one oh they are class again they steal the show from us as well 
um, they are just wonderful and I think the puppetry adds an element of fun and you know family and, and it's it's it is an, another art form that is gorgeous to watch on stage isn't it yeah and it's so weird how you don't see the puppeteer oh. you just don't it's see no, them you, you don't, just see you the objects and you see magic. the yeah. animals and it's gorgeous it's really gorgeous they are, they are, it is genuinely magical the way they can hold a piece of wood Yes, and, make and they it look go. Like it's alive. That is an entire tree. Yeah. I can see the tree. Yeah. They are not. That's not a person holding a stick. That is a tree. Well, we mm -hmm. were sitting there thinking, oh, oh there's rabbits. Oh, like, you yeah. don't go. No. Oh, somebody doing playing exactly. with rabbits. It's, it's yeah. actually rabbits. And they're so cute. Amazing. Yeah. So we were in rehearsal. But, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's lovely. I can't. Well, it's wonderful. It, it really is a fantastic piece, and everyone in oh, round here have been waiting for this for a long time. Oh, yes, it's I been know. advertised for a while yes, now, yes. and it's. Uh, and uh, have you had good houses so far? Yeah, great, terrific. And I think I think in the current climate, the state that we're all in, yeah. I think a lovely British family musical is what we all need for yeah. escapism and joy. 100%. Because it's hard at the minute, isn't it? Yeah, You know, So 100%. it's nice to sit and just have some escapism and just watch a bunch of kids just on being gorgeous on an adventure. Yeah. Stunning. It's lovely when to have people back in a theatre. Yes. And people are just so joyous and they just love the fact that they are back in a chair yeah, watching a live performance yeah. and it's glorious amazing. well i think that's the truth actually because after the, after covid when covid lifted and we were all allowed, allowed to back out to play again i think it was one of the things that i think a lot of people didn't think they missed as much as they yeah. did and then when they came back they thought oh, oh yeah this is quite emotional, actually, coming back it's to the really theatre. It's really emotional. I think theatre, you all give each other a warm hug. Mm -hmm. It's 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 strange. I remember going back into theatre after the pandemic and feeling like we were all, because we weren't allowed to hug, even when theatres were open. Yeah. It felt like we were all just giving each other one big hug because we were on a journey together. Uh -huh. Collectively, whether you know someone next to you or not, you all go on a journey together. Yeah. Which is why when the applause happens at the end, it's a teamwork between the cast and the audience. Yeah. Which is lovely. Jump, fly, fall. Cause every time I jump, fly full That's all I want to be for me Keep moving and no one will spot you All you've got to do Fantastic, what, you're, you're on a hit there, aren't you? Well, it's, it's a lot I mean, of work, it's, isn't it? But it's amazing yeah. Tonight's performance was really electric, I think we had a really lovely audience today. It was re they were reacting with us, and we really felt it. And, uh, Definitely. It really flowed tonight, I think. I don't know what you, what you think. I mean, Full House was pretty good. It was really good, <laughs> yeah. But that's the bizarre thing with a brand new piece, because you have to preview it for a while, and then, and then you get a, a press night like tonight, and it all sort of builds up to tonight. Does it? Is that how it works? Yeah, completely. I mean, previews are, are great, because it gives you a sense of the audience's reception of things and I mean we tweak things even today. Well that's it and it's like you know the, the uh, relationship with the audience is so tender sometimes it's really good to have that like time to really understand what it needs what it doesn't need and to tailor it then onwards and tonight I think it really came to fruition it really Definitely. it really came into its own yeah. But it is incredible actually because you guys you obviously play you're playing children, yeah. essentially. Playing a 10-year-old, playing a 14-year-old. Yeah, I'm 22 in real life, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm 18. <laughs> well, that's the bizarre thing, isn't it? Because you, we, we've seen this before with, you know, Blue Remembered Hills and Blood Brothers and adults playing kids. You guys, I mean, my daughter's with me tonight, and she said, I couldn't tell you if they are actually kids or if they are adults playing kids. Or, I don't know what it is. It's yeah. incredible, really. I mean, every single one of us is over the age of 18. <laughs> so it's it's interesting. I think it was definitely the right call because the music is so complex and it's such a hard story to get right that I think it definitely was the right call, but it was cast in a way that we all can look 10, 12 and 14 yeah. rather than looking like our true ages. And I definitely think as well the way they've cast it with the four of us, especially with Maria, yourself, Izzy, myself and Louis. You know, we're, we're very much like siblings in real life. We've yeah. come to really be in each other's back pockets. And that really does translate on stage, I think. Yeah. Um, and I think that really helps playing the young age because we, we really get on each other's nerves sometimes, but we love each other very oh, much. Yeah. 
Definitely. Like, like is, siblings, right? It yeah, is exactly. A hundred percent a sibling relationship. I mean, me and Debbie were having a combo about it the other day. We were like, <laughs> we are siblings. Yeah, <laughs> There's no doubt in my mind. This is my brother. Yeah, we've been separated at birth somehow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't ask the parents that one. <laughs> But you're 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 local lads. You're you're from Rithin. I am. I went I went to school in Rithin, and I uh, grew up yeah just in a village over. So um, it's being in theatre, Clude especially, is such. A, it's, it's it's almost an honour. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I went to see so many shows here when I was younger, and and hearing when Tamara took over as well, and then to be here and work with Tamara on a show that is so energetic and requires a lot of work. You know, I, I feel. Not only professional, but also I'm doing my, my younger self, you know, proud. It's, yeah. it's, uh, it's a real, yeah, an honour, it really oh, is. Yeah. I've had nothing but glowing reviews about Tamara since being here. As soon as anyone hears that, oh, you're in the famous fight, that's, by, that's Tamara, isn't it? <laughs> it's so amazing. Like, even my host family, they're like, we love Tamara. She's done so much for the theatre. It's, it's really amazing to hear, like, the morale. Well, before, this, before Tamara came here, this glue was about to close. Literally, quite literally, she she won't admit this. She she won't admit this. She hasn't admitted it to me. But um, she saved the place, and now of course she's on her way to the RSC. I mean, you've got, yeah. you know, this is this is almost like a swan song before uh, moving on to the RSC. It's incredible, right? Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, the fact that she's going to be the first female um, artist director at the RSC as well is like a phenomenal thing. It's it's absolutely amazing, and I can't wait to see how she like takes on that responsibility yeah i mean we're absolutely so phenomenally proud of her and to be working with her as well you know is is such a it's an honor but it also it feels like such a normal relationship as well she doesn't she you know she's so humble and it's all about the work in the room no yep. and you know that's that's the person you want isn't it and she's just she's just fantastic she really really she's is, really yeah. really is. and alternatively you're from London, right? Yeah. From the south. So how are you finding North Wales? <laughs> I mean, it's very different. I mean, where I live culturally, it's quite similar, but I frequented London. So obviously that's that's very different for me. Um, but I think obviously the nightlife, we've talked about that, is <laughs> the lack, lack thereof for an 18 year old. But um, it's it's lovely. I it thought is, you liked our night out in the weather spoons. <laughs> what are you talking about? Come on. It's 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 beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, we, there's been talks about a cast hike, but I think everyone's been too knackered to be able to do it. <laughs> but to... I definitely want to. And I mean, although I'm missing my family, I'm missing my dog and my boyfriend. I'm like, it's gonna be. I, I I've been so lucky to share it with them, and also have like a time to be independent at such a young age um, and yeah I can't wait to show my dog the Welsh countryside yes it's gonna be a fun. lot of it you know <laughs> take him up more van mail have a great time there's a voice in the wind I've been hearing since we arrived it could be I'm just sleep deprived it's saying go for it go for it There's a voice in the wind saying we're stronger than we knew I think you might have heard it too You've heard it, haven't you, haven't you? And look, that house, it's just a house and not too far And look at the stars above, I really love the stars That one's mine Jump, fly, fall. They're all my favorite thing to do. Especially if you look around as you jump, fly, fall. Each letter in them's capital. That's how it always feels to me. And when your greatest fears have caught you, all you've got to do. Watch your space on the hill, barely able to miss the trees. We're almost entirely knees And flying suddenly, suddenly Then we're climbing a tree And we'll lose our grip on the branch Then we fall like an avalanche And it is wonderful, wonderful And look, the dark It's just the dark And swords are great And we are a blaze as well And who can tell us no? It's long, here we go. Jump, fly, fall, cause every 
time I jump, fly, fall. That's all I want to be for me. Keep moving and no one will spot you. We will survive, you'll see, believe you me, we will, hard to kill, never still, jump, fly, fall, cause every day we jump, fly, fall. The fantastic, famous five, the brand new musical playing up at Theatre Cluid at this present time until the 15th of October. Go and see it, that's an order. Box office number for Theatre Cluid as per usual 01352 344 101. 01352 344 101. Go on, support your local theatres, ladies and gentlemen. They won't be there forever if you don't. station your voice afternoons on Callum FM listen online at callum.fm